Hey guys, so today's comment follow-up video is going to be covering a video that I had made a while back over uh, Thunderfoot's quote-unquote transparent aluminum. Uh, I had done the procedure that, they he, that he had done by uh, taking a torch over some aluminum foil and putting it under the microscope and we found that there were holes um, in the aluminum and that is what causes the porosity or that's what allows you to see through it. Uh, and then we talked about, or at least I talked about, the can that he used where he did the same thing to the bottom of a can and then put water in it and it held the water. Now I had said in the video that this was due to the surface tension of the water, not being able to flow through the tiny, tiny little holes that the torch was making. However, I got a ton of comments saying that they wanted to see that and I should have tried it. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm, I got three cans here. We're going to torch the bottoms and uh, see how it works. I got three because I'm, I'm expecting it to blow through. Um, it, technically it does anyway. I mean, it, it, it puts holes in the aluminum, but I'm not entirely sure how well it's going to hold water. Uh, when I did the aluminum foil and looked at it under the, mi under the microscope, uh, you saw some pretty big holes, uh, some cracks um, between the perforations, and I'm afraid that that's going to leak water. So I got three here in the hopes that I can at least get one to hold water. So let's go ahead and torch this and see if we can get the same results that he did. So there's a bit of smoke coming out there, and that is from the coating on the inside of the can. On the inside, there is a, just a really thin, clear film, uh, so that way whatever's in the can doesn't react with the aluminum itself. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's get a flashlight underneath them. Doesn't look like they blew through at all. So let's get a flashlight and be sure that uh, that there he can see through them. Now you see, it looks like a hole. I mean, it is, but You can't really come on and focus. Focus, you fuck. There we go. Yeah, I don't know how well that's going to work, but we'll give it a shot. Now, as you can tell, it is holding water. No water's leaking. There's water in the water in there. Now, in my other video, the way I was explaining this was um I give an analogy of, an, of a tent. I mean, a tent isn't technically waterproof either. Um, the fabric 
is porous that makes a tent. Uh, and that is why when it's raining, uh, it'll keep the water will beat up and drop off the fabric. However, if you touch it, uh, your the water will contact with your fingers through the small perforations in the tent, and um, it will essentially break the surface tension of the water. And that's what I was saying in the other video that I was willing to bet that if he touched the bottom, that uh, water would come out. So ooh, let's try not to spill it. Touch the bottom. And my thumb is wet. You can't really see the water very well. See if I can get it. There you go. You can see my thumb is wet as I run my finger along the bottom. This just goes to further prove that whoop, that it is holes in the aluminum and not some sort of weird sapphire oxide that's being created on the can or aluminum oxide turning into sapphire. Whatever people want to go ahead and say in the comments that makes no sense. Now, I was, I mean, I can use these other two cans. Um, but I'm going to continue to use this one for now. Now, it is not leaking with a little bit of water that I put in there on its own, uh, unless you touch it to break the surface tension. So I'm going to add some more water. We're going to see if we can get it to leak just under the pressure of the water alone. Unless I do that. You can still see where it's leaking now. And in his video, he only put just enough water to cover the surface. There wasn't a whole lot of pressure pushing any water through. But hopefully this wraps this up for you guys.